So this is John Reed, and I'm riffing on Tony DiTomas' excellent NetWeaver career strategy presentation. This is uh, part four in, in my commentary series, and this has got to be the last one, because as it turns out, I landed on the last slide the last time, which is, uh, you're so special, which is true. We're, we're, all, we're, all, we're all special in our own way uh, in the SAP field, but unfortunately, um, being special in and of itself is not enough to ensure our career success uh, in this particular economy, this particular time. Stronger measures are required and for the basis individual I think you're well served by this slideshow and I think even if you're not a basis or NetWeaver person there was a lot in this show uh, that is uh, deeply relevant to how you might want to approach your career path. Uh, so I want to definitely thank Tony for the brilliant and creatively uh, rendered slideshow uh, and man I would love to learn how to use Prezi sometime to do the same so uh, appreciate that. Now, we are on the last slide in the video right now, uh, and I'm going to go back a couple of slides here because I want to comment on a couple more things here. So I'm going to go back to the section where he's looking at some different aspects of a social identity. And the one thing I did want to acknowledge here is that uh, one of these was about a Twitter presence, and you know, Twitter is I think a good example of how we we shouldn't give in to the hype around these tools. Uh, we should basically submit them to the relevance test. How are they helping me? How are they making a difference? Not all of them are appropriate to each person. So we've got to push aside the hype a little bit. And, and also, as important as it is to make it an impact on the community and, and feel you know, good about your work in that sense, you want to find areas that you truly care about and not kind of force yourself down a road just because someone like me says this is how you're going to improve your career. Uh, or you're standing in the SAP community. Uh, I would recommend taking it much more internally focused in that sense. Find out what really drives you. My biggest criticism of those that write me with career advice is it often feels like they're going to take what I say and just run with it. And I often feel like, well, uh, the answers are really inside yourself, not with an expert like me, even if I'm maybe in some cases I'm not even an expert in the area that you're asking me about. But the point is, it's inside you. Uh, it's about what drives you professionally, and it's about tying as much of that together as possible instead of treating SAP as your day job, going through the motions, and then finding your true passion outside of SAP. I would caution against that. I would not, not to say, I mean, heck, heck I'm in a a local musicians group and all that kind of thing and I don't bring that work into SAP very much but uh, the point is you know bring some of that passion into your work in SAP find a soulful way of being involved but also respect the fact that company cultures are different and you may not want to be the one pushing the envelope in your company a Twitter presence in some cases is banned in some companies so you know if you find yourself in those situations you can't move forward with that um, in in Tony's work in the Australia Post I know they are very supportive of a lot of those endeavors and understand their relevance to internal uh, project success and how an empowered consultant with a good network can can be a lot more effective on a project. But not every company feels that way and you have to learn how to uh, mix and match and, and also find the right role for yourself. Um, so along those lines, uh, the good thing is that in this slideshow there's a number of suggestions and you know one of them is going to work for you. It may be that uh, simple book study is, is the next step for you rather than something beyond. Um, but I also just released a longer white paper series uh, for the Career Center on the SAP Community Network. And one of the reasons I wrote it is because I think we're at a crossroads where community and career are kind of intersecting. And so when I talk about becoming a thought leader in a particular area of SAP, I'm talking about basically finding an area of mastery, but then connecting it into a community context. So, for example, you know, I know some guys that are really into rich internet application type stuff, um, but that also draws them into open source projects that are community driven. Uh, beyond that, maybe getting involved with some of SAP's internal discussions around the uh, individual licenses and and so seeing all those things kind of connecting and and then furthering that along along with skills growth. So it's all becoming increasingly intertwined. Uh, so if you can find something you're passionate about, you might be able to take it a long way. But the point of having a plan like we're proposing in this presentation is so then you can come back and you can track your progress because you know you're going to have times where you have setbacks. You're going to have to regroup and move ahead. But I hope uh, this slideshow presented you with some inspiration. I want to thank Tony again uh, for doing it. And once again, be brave, treat it like an adventure, and stay special. This is John Reed, johnnyrp.com.